you guys who both know the rules. I want a good, clean fight at all times. I bear my command at all times. Touch gloves and want them. You're about to point to ready for A death stare there from Anthony Burchak as we are ready for our main event. Who will get their strikes off early here? The you very ready? Heavy, Are you ready? Precise Do hands it. of Ryan Benoit. And Birchick sprints out of his corner. Here we go. Michael Chevalo. Pat Melotic with you. Late kick right hand. Looking for a takedown early. Birchak. Benoit goes to center ring. Always relaxed. Ryan Benoit. Shoots in for a single to Birchak. Can he get Benoit on his back? Are we going to see the wrestling early? Good job with the single. He had Benoit moving a lot, locked his hands. He's going to get this, probably. Double leg, Burchak has him high. And Benoit's down in the corner, on his back. Benoit says he's no slouch on the ground. Just because he knocks people out in most of his fights doesn't mean he can't wrestle. Gut munching me from Benoit. Muay Thai clinch now from Ryan Benoit. And the uppercut from Burchak gets out of touch. Benoit was able to get up. Whoa. Jumping round kick and a tagging right hand. A high knee from Burchak. Benoit takes the back of Burchak. Puts the hooks in the ground. Benoit. Great little trip by Benoit. Now he's got his back. Burchak just walking across to the ropes. Burchak got to have hand control here. He's fighting. Good job on his hand control. In a while since Benoit has pulled off a submission. Going over to his corner so he can hear his boys talking to him. Smart here from Burchak. Trying to spin him off. Nice job. And Burchak puts Benoit on his back. One action inside the opening, 90 seconds. Watch the back of the head. Inside the guard of Ryan Benoit. Burchak with the elbow. That's experience in grappling and wrestling, being able to spin somebody off you like that. Right hands from Burchak trying to posture up. Seems slide through. Right to mount. Wow. Mount position for Anthony Burchak. Takes the back of Benoit. Benoit spins back all his back. He's through the ropes momentarily. Being mounted. He's grounded on. And referee finally moves in to break them. He will recommence this pad. He should from a mounted position for Burchak. I expect Kyle Cardinal to do that. He's a BJJ black belt. He's got a lot of experience. Listen, what a furious start. Again, okay? You can lose a point. I'm going to give you one warning. They're not, not on used to mixed martial arts in a ring at Legacy Malposition. Fighting Championships. They do employ a cage. And lucky he was in a ring that time yeah, because he was, he was in Ready? trouble. Go. Full mount gets into the ring. Ground and pound for Burchak. Benoit reaches up. Tries to control that posture. Will he give up his back here to Burchak? Burchak. It looks that way. It is that way. Burchak now has the back of Benoit. Yeah, look at how his feet are riding that leg for a second there. Benoit keeping a grip on him. This guy's stuck to it like glue. Years. Right, just about halfway through this opening round. Burchak in control. He's set for the choke now. Is this it for Benoit? Figure four wrapped around the body of Benoit. That'll make it hard for him to breathe. Hard for him to move. And Benoit defends the choke. Burchak doing a good job of risk control there. Benoit's nose bloodied up, but he still looks relatively relaxed here, does Ryan Benoit. Resets the choke now, does Burchak. This is trouble. Got to strip that top hand. This He's is it deep. It. This could be it for Benoit. Going palm to palm, switched it up. Is this it for Ryan Benoit? No, he somehow survives. Good work from Benoit. That's a tough kid, man. Burchak being very smart, had the choke, the normal rear choke. Benoit stripped that top arm out, and then he went palm to palm. That's the natural follow-up. And Benoit still be able to get out of it. Benoit just being filleted with that right elbow. There is blood streaming out of the nose of the Texan. Burchak's ground game is extremely tight, man. This guy works in tight spaces. Very good, Burchak. Hey, the next 90 seconds or so cannot go quick enough for Ryan Benoit. Can he survive to the end of the first round? As I said, both men predicted a first round finish. Benoit has got to get his rear end up. There, he's getting an underhook in. He's, he needs that. One minute. One minute, Tony Burchett. Yep, there he goes. Got the underhook and was able to come up. Benoit takes the back of Burchett. Now it's Benoit's chance again to sink the choke. Can he do it? Burchett got to get a hold of that hand and keep it. Burchett defends and he 
is out of trouble. A seesawing matchup in our main event. And once again, Benoit gets back to the choke. Both these guys, great at getting out of that rear choke. Hips, it's a battle of hips here. Benoit's on his back. Third check inside his gun. Under half a minute remains in a fantastic opening round. The most exciting round that we've seen here tonight. Elbow from Benoit on his back. Benoit was, ooh, nice, nice scraping left elbow there as the head came up. Benoit was winning that battle of the hips, but ran into the ropes, trying to turn him over. Stop. End of the first round of action. Brilliant first round. You've got to love that. Slow to emerge off the ground, Ryan Benoit. In quite a while since he's been in such a hard opening round. Good stuff on the ground, knee right to the belly. That's perfectly legal when the guy's down. Obviously you can't knee to the head when your opponent's down, but Burchek in there scrapping in tight, block that next knee. Throws that flying knee, thought he'd catch him on the level change, get, get uh, Benoit to lower his head, catch him with the knee, missed with it though. Both these guys exceptionally getting out of this rear choke. Both guys doing a good job getting the hand control, stripping the hand out of there. Both landed good strikes from behind also, although uh, Burchek was a little bit more effective from that position. 10-9 Burchak says Pat Militich after one. And what a run it was. Benoit not looking so good in his corner pack. Resting those arms on the ropes. That tells you he's, he's tired. He's got to get his turn strikes around. out here at the start of the second stanza. Yeah. If you want to fight, turn around. Let's Perfect go. Carl Cardinal right on top of it. Birchak again stomps out of his corner, goes straight to the liver. Uppercut catches Benoit, forces him back. Hurt him, hurt him. Benoit not able to hold the ropes. Birchak looking to pass. Here comes the ground and pound again. Benoit's in trouble. You hear Birchak's corner saying you can finish it here, Anthony. He mounts hey, Benoit. Benoit tries to scoot out the back door. E -bar. Benoit! Point your right knee to the floor. Point your right knee down to the floor. Keep your right knee pointed down to the floor. That's how keep your right knee pointed down. He needs to spin Burchek over and get that leggies attack and get that hip on the ground. Ah, he's got it underneath his arm now, which can create more leverage. And Benoit finds the submission here on Burchak. There's a huge cut up to the right eye of Ryan Benoit. And Burchak out of trouble. Grinds away with that right hand. Benoit's going to defend. He's going to start fighting back. And the referee may stop this one. Benoit trying to find a way back to his feet here. Benoit just yanked him past and took his back. Beautiful technique there. Very good. You're going to finish him. Right in front of his corner, Anthony Burchak. Consistently, they're telling him, you're going to finish him. Very Elbows good. from the back. Benoit, nowhere to go. Referee, keep your close eye on it. Arm triangle coming. Benoit trying to scoot out. Trying to get that arm off. And Burchak did lose it. Have a fist strike. Benoit still can't get to his feet. Burchak right on top of him. Nice key lock. That's nasty. Submission attempt after submission attempt for Anthony Burchak. Burchak's got to get that elbow close to Benoit's head. Keep that perfect square. Trying to submit that right arm from the mountain position. Switch it to an elbow. Can he lock it on here? Benoit defending. He'll kick to the midsection. And Benoit's out of trouble. Now Benoit inside the guard of Burchak. And his crowd loving it. Textbook escape. Burchak being smart there, kicking the solar plexus. That hurts a lot. That's Benoit now looking for the mount. Nice job sliding the half. Looking to pass, looking for mount. Can he mount Burchak? Can he mount Burchak? Yes, he can! Now Benoit, top position. What can he do from here? He's, he's catching a breather for a second here. How the tide can turn. 
in a matter of seconds in the sport of mixed martial arts. Here comes Benoit. Vicious ground and pound. He takes Burtex back, pounds away to the temple. He's got to flatten it back out. You can't let a guy as good as Burtex get back up. Burtex, clear of the choke. Benoit wants to soften him up some more. This is Benoit's chance. The hooks are in. Big. The armbar now from Benoit. Can he look on the armbar? No, Burtrack's out. Now Burtrack back to top position. What a battle. Technical mistakes by both guys to go for armbars and lose position when they were on top. Now it's Burtrack mounting Benoit. Back and forth. Postures up, ground and pound. Benoit forced to cover up. Is he going to give his back here? Not yet. Elbows coming down to that damaged right eye. That's work, guys. And nasty, nasty man is Burchak trying to open up that cut. And Benoit doing a good job, even though he wasn't moving a lot, had his arms up protected. Burchak, the guy, his corner's yelling, don't go for the arm bar again. It looks like Burchak wants that arm bar. Oh, uh, triangle. He's setting up the triangle. Sliding that leg through. Mounted triangle. He is pulling out every submission available as Burchak. Is this it now for Ryan Benoit? Half a minute remains. Can Benoit hang on? He's stuck in a triangle. He's stuck in a triangle. Gotta watch his arm now. Gotta watch his arm. Benoit may be fading. Burchak pulls the head down. The triangle is locked on tight. 15 seconds in the round. Can Benoit survive? 13 seconds now. 10 seconds. Can Benoit survive? Another five seconds. He's holding on. He's holding on. Let he go. survives. Let go. Let go. Just, just, just. He was close to being out, man. His corner's picking him up. Wow, they had to drag him back to the corner. Somehow revitalize him. You are seeing something extraordinary. A back and forth contest. Both men having the mount. Both men taking the back. Both men ground and pound and throwing down the submission. These boys are getting after it, man. This, this is the way MMA is supposed to look. Minus the two mistakes on the armbar attempts, everything has been pretty, pretty sharp. Seconds out. Seconds Benoit doing out. a good job here. He's got the back Seconds of Burchek. Burchek walked him over to the corner and got off him, took his back. Look at ben Benoit fighting for that hand desperately. These guys Seconds have been going out. at it position-wise. Benoit with the underhook, he needed that to get up, took his back right away and went straight to a rear choke. Great transition. Benoit was leaning on the ropes. He comes limping out of his corner and Burchak straight on him. What has Benoit got left? Not Burchak much. immediately takes him down, gets the mount inside the opening 10 seconds. It's all survival now for Benoit. It'll take a minor miracle for him to somehow pull out a victory here. Stranger things have happened. You can never rule out someone like Ryan Benoit. You see, Burchak's ground and pound doesn't have the same start it had earlier in the fight. Both guys have been in trouble in this fight. Both guys showed heart, fought their way out of it. Arm triangle coming again. He's trying to get it started. Burchak. Nice job. Benoit. Pops out the back. Looks to take the back here of Burchak. They're both standing now. Benoit hasn't had the chance to use his fantastic Muay Thai and boxing skills. He's got the arm trap now. He needs to use that. Yep, he's using it. Benoit hacking away with the head of his strikes and elbows. Trying to open up a cut. Trying to put a money box on the head of Burchak. That's it. Burchak trying to shake him off, hit the Grammy roll, coming out, nice. Now Burchak back to top position. Has the mount again here. He must have mounted Ben Knight's I'd love count, maybe five, six times in this fight. One thing both these guys have done well while getting out of stuff, 
is they do a great job of transitioning straight to submissions. Anoint's corner, Baki instructions. They are telling him exactly what to do to defend this pack. Armbar attempt from Burchak. Is this it now? Is it over for Benoit? They tell him to roll over. He does it. He listens. And he gets out of trouble again. Another textbook escape by Benoit. Got to be heavy here. Got to be heavy here. Benoit listening to his corner. They're telling him to try and get the elbows off now. Yeah, telling him to settle in also and relax for a second and hold this position. You got to get settled in the position first before you go on the attack. Benoit trying to posture up from half guard. The minute he postures up, up comes Burchek. Looking for the openings here, Benoit. Let's go busy, guys. He wants to try and sink a choke. What are his options here, Pat? Well, I think he's he was initially looking for a Darce choke there. He wanted that right arm to go underneath, but uh, saw that wasn't going to happen. It's work, guys. Stay in the right. Knee on belly. Oh, don't go to that leg lock and lose position, son. Benoit glances to his corner. They're giving him instruction. And he's sick of sub here. This is a uh, old Sakuraba style leg lock attack. Sakuraba was the expert at this stuff. All tied up like a ball of twine. Fighting for that knee bar. Got it under his arm. And I still got plenty of time here. 80 seconds remains to find a submission on Burchak. You know, he had position, he was in half guard. Now he needs to go to work. He needs to punch like a madman here. Takes the back of Burchak, puts in the hooks. Does Ryan Benoit. Postures up. Here come the hands. But what power has he got left? Yeah, he's got to punch with everything he's got left That's right now. Burchak flipped down. Benoit pounding away. Referee keeping an eye on it. 45 seconds remains. Can't let Burchek get up. He's going to try pot up. Ah, coming all the way up. Got the hand control. He's good. Benoit goes for a walk on the back of Burchak. Benoit too tired to hang on there. Key lock. Burchak with a submission attempt now. 25 seconds remains. Benoit hacks away with the elbows. Flances over his corner. See how Burchek slides that shin bone in there, trying to separate him from his arm. Using all the leverage he can to isolate that limb. Final 10 seconds. Burchek still looking for the sub here. They're rolling that wrist, trying to get out of it. Let go. What a fight. What a main event. Burchek scales the ropes. Benoit pumps his fist in the air. We don't think Benoit will win this one, but my word, what a learning lesson for Ryan Benoit here tonight. Insane fight. Both these guys extremely talented. Here you see uh, Burchek on top of Benoit going for that arm bar. Straight in the arm. There was a lot of pressure on the joint. Benoit knew which way he had to go. Textbook rolled out of it. Comes up on top. Nice job. Both these guys, this whole fight has been incredible. These guys getting out of this stuff, showing heart. Benoit knew he had to punch a lot, score some points here. Could have stolen the round, potentially, with this flurry at the end. Landed some good shots. Even if he doesn't win here tonight, Benoit, he has won over the crowd in Edmonton. And so too Anthony Burchak. So many mounted positions, so many submission attempts. It was a brilliant contest from beginning to end. And both men should hold their chins up high and proud tonight. Yeah, these guys are both little hammers, man. Impressive stuff. It's one of those fights where you wish there were two more rounds. I bet they're glad there isn't. Benoit and Burchak.
was just a clarification earlier on. I did say Valentin Overeem was fighting at CFA in Miami on May 24, live on Access TV. Valentin Overeem is in fact out, and he is replaced by Travis Bue. That is May 24 in Miami, CFA, live for the first time ever on Access TV, featuring Fallon Fox as part of the women's tournament. Ready for the decision here up to Alex Heinmarsch. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a decision. Judge Robert Donahue scores it 30 27. Judge Shern Gurk scores it 29 28. And Judge Marek Stazic scores it 29 28. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Anthony Burchard.